Good morning, folks. We've got several items to hit today. Earth is taking a minor proton storm from solar eruptive activity. There was a big earthquake in Alaska. There's a hurricane in the Central Pacific. We've got two papers touching on the topic of last night's special video. Let's start with our star, and we find the last 24 hours was moderately calm on the Earth-facing half of the Sun. Minor M-class events continue. No big CMEs heading at Earth. Minor surges in the corona and incoming bright active regions. The southern sunspot beginning to depart released plasma again, but again, not aimed our way. Earth is taking a proton storm, however, and veteran observers remember how this can happen even without an eruption that's fired at Earth. If you watch the right side, the corona, you'll see the ripple of the far side eruptions. There were three of them actually, the last one being the biggest. These looked incredible on SOHO coronagraphs, again with the last one appearing to be a titanic blast from the side of the sun, not facing the Earth. This blasted protons into the interplanetary space, which hit the magnetic connection between Earth and Sun, surging those protons to our polar region and triggering the minor storm. The top seismic event in a while struck Alaska overnight, 7.2 in the island chain, minor two-foot tsunami detected didn't cause much of a fuss other than scaring locals after authorities initially warned of worse possibilities. Folks, there's a hurricane brewing south of the earthquake zone in the central Pacific, and forecast models put it heading straight at Hawaii. We'll need to be on the lookout in the days ahead. Wind maps are also showing one about to strike just west of Hong Kong later today or tomorrow. Thoughts go out there as well. Storm season is definitely here. Top science articles are related today and related to last night's special video. The first one confirms that space weather impacts drive electromagnetic waves in the upper atmosphere that contribute to electron penetration downward into the atmosphere. We've seen many times how important this is for ozone depletion. The other top story directly compares geomagnetic storms and that ozone depletion, once again finding the significant correlation. If you didn't catch our special video last night, these are obviously directly related to the second part of it. We greatly appreciate your support. Check out links below the video in the description box for more. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.